Hey guys, Rice here again with another commentary. Uh, four, three, two, one, zero. Sorry, I just I have to do a little bit of um, whatever that word is that I can't think of right now <laughs> to uh, line things up. Anyway, uh, it looks like we got Oversky right there, my man Oversky, one of the most fun players I've ever watched play StarCraft. Playing against Frisian, uh, the Blue Terran, and they are playing on Coliseum 2. This is the second set of the Pro League matches of Samsung Khan versus uh, Korean Air Force Ace. And this is going to be a fun match for two reasons. One, Oversky is awesome. And two, Oversky is awesome. I, I love watching Oversky. Ever since he did a proxy hatchery on Katrina, winning against, I forget who it was at this point, <coughs> but, but basically, one of the first Zergs to beat Terran, uh, uh, Terran Wallen uh, on Katrina. I mean, he, he just, he did a proxy hatchery and he took out the wall on Katrina and with Sunkins. And the Terran player never scouted outside his base. So he just destroyed him and man, it was just such clever play. And that's not the only time Oversky has had cle clever play in the past. I mean, he has... He, he's just, he's, he's very uh, creative and he makes for exciting games. So we should see some exciting stuff from him. Frizine, on the other hand, is a, uh, a fairly strong Terran player and fairly decent, competent by all means. He gets to, uh, you know, he's been in OSL or MSL or both. I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but not, not too far into it, but, you know, he's, he's made it there. So he's, he's of a decent caliber. And he's beaten some big name players himself. <laughs> so this should be a great match. We got uh, Oversky sending out a early drone to I don't know where. Uh, I don't know if that's just a, uh, a scout, a quick scout, because yeah, it looks that way. It looks to be a quick scout. We got a two barracks build coming from Frazine though, which is uh, it's going to be a perfect build versus the what looked to be a nine pool of uh, Oversky two four five. What? Yeah. Was that a 5 pool? No. No way. Uh, okay, I think that, uh, I think that Oversky just 5 pulled for Z. Um, he's gonna scout for Z in very shortly. Oh, that open, his things are going really far out. And, oh, that SCP is gonna scout them! No! Where are you going, Oversky? And Oversky gonna catch uh, the base. Oh, and, and there we go. A uh, brilliant move by for Z by canceling the second barracks. I'm sure that has enough minerals. To make both a, uh, a bunker and enough marines to defend against this rush. And I tell you what, I think that uh, Frazine is actually in a great position right now to defend against. Yeah, Frazine is going to be able to defend against this, no problem. Basically, as soon as that bunker goes up, uh, Oversky is in trouble. Uh, he's going to be able to take out and do a little bit of harassment, but nothing to do. Oh! And Oversky putting a sunken up at the front of uh, uh, the base of of uh, Frazine. And Frazine probably not expecting this, considering he's nowhere near that base. And he's going to try to do a sunken push. That is awesome! Put down that second sunken colony, man. Do it! Do it! Do it! He's got about 10 lings out there. Uh, 12 now. That second sunken is going up. It's going to be in range of those buildings. And here we're going to see the effectiveness of that creep colony that um, Coliseum gives the Zerg player outside every single player's base. And I don't know what Frazeen has to do against this. He has no gas. He's only going to have Marines. This may actually pay off for Oversky. He's need to get another drone over there, though. And oh, that drone getting caught up by your leg. Get out of the way. And oh, there we have it. We have the uh, the first sunken is up and another bunker trying to go up. But Oversky is going to take out those SCVs building it. And he's not going to have much trouble doing it. He's got a decent force of links to do that, to take out anything coming up. And uh, be careful with that. Yeah, he's got to be really careful with the sunken pushes at this point because he cannot afford to lose any drones. And Oversky, uh, I don't know if he's going to send any more. Oh! And that bunker is canceled by Frazine. And Frazine looks like he's going to push up with all of his uh, SCVs and try to take out those sunkens. But no, that second sunken's going to go up! And that barracks is going to go down and there are so many links there and there's a total of two sunkens able to uh, uh, attack all of this. And those SCVs SCVs are gonna have, and oh, he's got a surround going on the Marines at the same time. And now, uh, but he does take out the first sunken, but that sunken is still able to range all the buildings, and more importantly, the creep is already there for uh, more sunkens to go down. And it looks like more sunkens are gonna go down. Two more this 
time, yeah, and Frazeen is in dog. trouble, guys. Uh, Frazeen oh, does not have much defense, and there are a lot of leagues, and they have a good surround going on, taking out Marines and not losing many leagues in the process. Oh my god, Oversky is amazing. I cannot believe he is doing this. Uh, Oversky looks to be winning this match, guys. Again, no gas going out for Frazeen, so no siege tanks to outrange these Sunkins. He's got nothing. He needs at least medics to, to deal with Sunkins. You cannot take out Sunkins with uh, vanilla Marines. They just won't happen. And that barracks is going down. That bunker goes down. And that's going to be game, guys. It's, it's over at this point. There is nothing that Fazeen can do at this point. Those links now have free range. He's completely separated the Marines from half the other base. He's going to be able to take out supply depots with both the links and oh, the Sunkins. And he's continuing to push in with more Sunkins. And uh, desperately trying to get more uh, supply depots down. But not going to be able to do anything. Uh, Oversky being a little careless, putting in uh, uh, something too far ahead of so being able to attack it, but it does not matter, guys. He's now got range on the command center. Frizzine lifts the command center. What are you going to do? Where are you going to go, Frizzine? And there are five sunken, six sunken in the base of Frizzine at this point, and uh, there's nothing Frizzine can do. Those sunken have completely blocked off SEVs from escaping anywhere. That's right, anywhere, and Frizzine is just taking everything out and that last sunken is going to seal the deal right there he's got a uh, range of all the units and oh Oversky blocks the ramp he blocks the ramp and those units are not going to be able to get up and he's going to have sight on there not to mention he has an overlord and Frazian's going to lose all but three marines oh my god <laughs> nice game nice job by Oversky you know it, it never fails to watch this kid play uh, I he didn't disappoint either. He is, uh, he is, I, I really don't know why Frazeen is still in the game. I mean, at this point, he's beyond lost the game. He's being silly. He's a silly boy. Why would you do Frazeen? GG, man. Come on. So, play. What? He's floating over his barracks for what? And oh, the drone's coming out. And, uh, over this guy about to embarrass Frazeen if he does not GG. And Frazeen does, in fact, GG. Congratulations, I gotta, I'm clapping for Oversky. That was phenomenal play, guys. I cannot believe it. it was, uh, fantastic. You know, I don't think I've ever seen that sunken, uh, that creep colony used effectively. Oversky, did it. he just did it. I salute you, Oversky. GFG, that was amazing. Good game. We have now tied up the set. It is now 1 1. Air Force Ace versus Samsung Khan, who, by the way, is like the top team in the league. And, uh, or second, second place. And Fazeen cannot believe he just lost to Elvis Guy. <coughs> wow. Good game, guys. I'll see you in the next match. Peace. Oh,